This video is going to show you how to make your very own pig snout for a crochet pig. And it's a slightly fussy piece to crochet, but it's a lot easier to just show you how to do it rather than to write it all down. So in any event, I'm using worsted weight yarn. This is Red Heart Super Saver Baby Pink, and I'm using a four and a half millimeter hook. So you start, as always, by making a slip knot that slips. I have another video about how to do that. And for this particular piece, you start by chaining two. Next, you insert the hook into the first chain that you made. And I go through that back ridge loop and you're gonna work two single crochets, one, Two. And then for people who crochet right-handed, you're going to make a clockwise turn. And what that means is that you look down on the stitches and you make it turn clockwise. <clears throat> and now without making a chain one or anything, you're just going to work two crochet stitches into the first stitch of this row and two crochet stitches into the second stitch of this row. So when we're done, we're gonna have four crochet stitches and it's gonna look a little bit triangly. So here's what we just finished. <clears throat> here's what it looks like. Kind of get that whole sense of what the pig's nose will look like. And so now again, we're going to make a clockwise turn and we're gonna work two crochet stitches into the first stitch. So one, two, and then from here on out, we're just gonna work one single crochet into each stitch three, four, that's going to be a little bit of a tight fit, but we got it, five. And now we're going to do the last row. And after that, we're going to start working in the round. And again, we make the clockwise turn, insert the hook two stitches into that first stitch. So one, two, and then a stitch into each of the remaining stitches in the row. Two, so that's three, four, five, six. So now we have our basic triangle that we're going to work with. And what I do here now is I chain one. And that's going to be something we work into later. And now I'm going to place three more stitches along this row. So I don't want to take too much yarn. Stick it under one strand, so that's my second, or my first stitch. So one, two, and then here, I just want to go through one strand of yarn, three. And now I'm going to turn, and I'm going to work four stitches along this side, because that chain one, that sort of counts as a stitch there. So now, I'm going to insert the hook there for one of my stitches. Then this one, got to make sure I get just the one strand of yarn. Two. And again, you want to stick with one strand of yarn. Three. Oops, that wasn't quite the strand. That was part of a strand. Three. Oh, pull some yarn out here. And then four. Yeah, that looks a little looks a little messy. No, I guess that was fine. I should have just gone with that. <clears throat> Gonna go put that stitch right back in there. Okay, four. So now we have a total of 14 stitches around. And now for this next round, we're going to work in the back loop only, and we're just gonna work one stitch into each, into the back loop of each stitch. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, 
six, seven, we are now halfway there, eight, nine, ten, I need to pull out more yarn, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So we finished our first full round all the way around and you'll see by working in that back loop only we have this ridge and if you wanted to make that more defined you could just take a strand of yarn and you could do like a whip stitch around it <clears throat> give it a little more make it stand out a little more if that's a feature you want to highlight now we're going to do two more rounds and we're going to work through both loops and we're just going to add some height to the snout one two three four five six seven <clears throat> eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen we are so close we are 14 stitches away from being done. One, two, three, four, five, oh, six, seven, eight, nine, Whoops, didn't quite finish that ninth stitch. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And then I tend to like to finish these things off with a slip stitch to the first stitch of the round. And in any event, um, in the pattern, there are some guidelines for how you go about decorating this snout and putting it on your pig.